design space, I uploaded my image of my soccer ball. Um, I'll show you how I did this. I broke it up into two layers so that I could cut them out on paper. Um, I'm just going to quickly show you what I did. I just got to go find it. Now, I am doing a voiceover and I apologize immensely. I'll do my best to give you all the information correctly. Um, I'm also not going to jibber jabber on, so there may be spots so I'll just stick music in. Anyways, the first one I just want a circle. Um, I know I could have gotten a circle anywhere, but I wanted to use the circle from the image of the soccer ball. So I'm just going to save it, do nothing, save it as it is. On the left, if you save it, it saves as a print to cut. On the right, it will be your cut for like paper. Um, it doesn't matter which one you save it on at this point because you can always change it when you're on your design mat. Now I go back and I do it again. This time I'm going to get rid of all the black so that the white layers are visible. Now, in hindsight, I ended up doing a print to cut. So if you do a print to cut, you don't have to do all that. All you have to do is bring it in um, one time into Design Space using, using your uh, print to cut feature. Now I'm gonna click both of them because you can do multiple at one time from your uploads and bring them in. I'm just going to get my soccer balls all set up into the size I want, into the groupings I want. Make sure I group it, make sure you save things as you go so you don't mess up. As you can see, I haven't, but that's okay because I already have this cart already saved. I'm just showing you what I did. Now once I get the soccer ball all fixed up, I went into my images and I looked for circle card. So I could just get a circle card base. I filtered it to my images um, and then just scrolled down to go pick out the image I wanted. Now that I've got the image I want it, I load it into my design mat. And there are some things I need to do to change this. Um, I did a lot more messing around than I really needed to. All I had to do was get rid of the blue layer or ungroup everything. I could have gotten rid of the blue layer, the, gra the black layer, and then just duplicated the purple layer. Why I made it more difficult on myself, I have no idea, but I did.
now after all that very unnecessary messing around, um, <laughs> Yogi, I got exactly what I wanted. I've got two layers for my card and then my layer for my soccer ball. The only thing I need to do is change the color of the layer purple because I don't want it to be purple. You don't have to change the color because of course it means nothing. It all depends on what paper or whatever color you put on your cup mat. But this gives me a better idea of what the finished product is going to look like. So I've changed it and now I need to upload one more image because I want sort of like a scallop circle around the soccer ball. So I need to find that image now. I'm going to use that one. Um, my other card, I used that one, but I think I'm just going to use the single one this time. And I'm going to load that into my design mat, and then I'm going to start sizing it up to my soccer ball. I'm going to change the color of it, get it in behind my soccer ball, and line it up so that it is completely circled or centered. what I want to do is I want to do some work on the card once I get it all sized up here I thought I was getting ready to do the card insert but no I'm still sizing up because I want my soccer ball I want it all to go over the base card a bit bigger I want it to hang over do to the inside of the card. A lot of the times I will include the sentiment and just print it out. Um, this time I'm leaving the card insert green. I don't have a maker so I can't do a print on my printer on green. Um, what I want to do though, because this card is for my daughter, um, she didn't want me to include any sentiment. So what I do want to do though is add a little decorative circle of soccer balls so what I'm going to do is duplicate the soccer ball and make it a right so that I can use my markers and have my Cricut um, draw it so that's what I'm doing here I'm just changing this soccer ball to changing both layers of the soccer ball. I'm not sure if I had to do both layers, but I just did. And I'm going to just quickly attach them because I don't want them. And I just want them one. 
So now I'm going to go really, really small with this soccer ball. Here I go. Go smaller. Because like I said, my goal is to do a circle of soccer balls. So I'm going to place this soccer ball at... Oh, I just raised everything so it's easier to see because I want them tiny. But I want to place this at... I think I'm going to start at 12. Typically I would do 12, 6, 9, and 3. But for some reason I did 12, 3, 9, and 6 I think. So now I'm just going to place all of my soccer balls. As you can see what I did to help me fill it in close to where I want it I did the 12 the 6 the 9 and the 3 and then I'm placing a soccer ball in between each one of those that should give me roughly um, where I want it once they are let's this I am going to click all of them select all the soccer balls by clicking on them as I'm holding, I think it's my control, and then my green layer, and I'm going to attach them all. And that will get them so they're gonna draw right there. So I think pretty soon we are going to check, we'll see what happens. Make sure everything's going to work out right on my cutting and there's my green layer with the right right there so that's right so that's exactly what I want it so now that I pretty much or I do have everything where I want it I am going to go ahead and cut this out and then we will be back hi okay so um it's such a beautiful day it is actually supposed to, with the humidity, they're calling for it to get up to about 40. Um, it's pretty warm in the house, so I decide to bring a card out here to put together because there's really not much to this. It is a very, very, very simple, quick Father's Day card. Wonderful idea for any father who is into sports. Now, what I did do differently is I did do my soccer ball right here as um, the cut pieces what I did because all these little white ones obviously cut individually so what I did was I then put adhesive on my black cardstock stuck it right over the white while it was on the mat still and was able to transfer the white onto the black without a problem but I didn't like the look of it no so, I didn't want to do it anymore. So what I did instead was, oh great, sorry, we have a tractor, we are living in the country, and right on the other side of our property, there is, we have trees, is a farmer's field. And of course they pick right now to do whatever they're doing. Anyway, so we'll get this done. Sorry about the traction noise. So like I said, didn't like it. Okay? So I went back into my design space and I flattened it. And did it in the print to cut. Even easier. Because now all we gotta do is put a couple pieces together. So. We've got lots of pieces here here's the insert for the inside okay here's my my gunny 
my gun. It's been acting out, so we'll see how well it works. Let me tape this down. And actually, it's doing a good job. So, there we go. And that's going on the inside of inside of the card. So I'm just going to try to center that as much as I can on the inside of the card. Then just give the, the edges a bit of a rub to get any tape that happened to go over. So that's the inside of the card. I have here two different sizes. Yeah, that's not the right one either. So next thing we do is we just put some adhesive, whatever you choose. This is just even quicker, faster, very simple. Just get a piece of your adhesive on, try to center it the best you can. Now this card is actually going to my daughter's, um, so I did not write a sentiment on the inside. She is uh, planning on writing something in there herself. So, so there's the extra tape off. Okay. And now all I'm going to do is, this is a bit bigger than the card base, which is what I want. So I'm going to add the tape or the adhesive to the card base this time. Because... See, that's what my silly gun does to me once in a while. And then I gotta pop it open, tighten it up, and do it again. And there. And then we'll put, oh, I put it down in some water. That's okay. Then we'll, you will, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna do it this way so I can see better. Because I wanna sort of still size it up correctly or as quickly as I can ah, that's good and guess what you're done it took more time like usual to design the card in design space on the computer or your tablet or your whatever you're using than it did to make it. Here is just a very simple, very quick Father's Day card. That's it. Um, so guys, we are going to do some more Father's Day cards. And I do have some ideas coming up with uh, maybe putting some newbies, some people that have never used the machine on spot and get them to make something. I think that might be fun to do. So um, please remember to subscribe below and like my videos. If you really have to, dislike them. So then I have an idea to stay away from that. Don't forget, I'm still working on uh, more of the giant flowers. And well, guys, thanks for coming by and happy crafting.